The Mini has always been Great Britain's people's car. If you want to make your art more British, you put a Mini and you're done. This start dates back to the original 1959 Mark 1 Mini, designed by the late Sir Alec Azagonis. Even though it was made to be a people's car, it was also a great little racer, competing in the Monte Carlo Rally and beating cars that were double or even triple the power. Yet it never managed to win. That's when a chef called John Cooper came to play. It was he who knew the little car had more potential. He went all out and turned the car into what we now call the Mini Cooper S Mark 1. With the influence of John, the Mini dominated the Monte Carlo Rally year after year and after decades when BMW bought Mini, they unveiled the new Mini to everyone with the R50 and R53 generation. At the end of its life, before the introduction of the next generation, Mini decided to make a hot, fast and grippy edition of the Mini, dubbed the John Cooper Works GP in honor of the late John Cooper. And when the R56 was going to end to make room for the F56, you bet the team at John Cooper Works knew what they concluded with. Well, here we are at Nilgiri Falls of India in the 2013 Mini John Cooper Works GP Inside Drive Club. Now, the car itself, which I gotta say is a proper little car firecracker. I mean, just look at it. The racing stripes, the spoiler, the red accents. It's like a kitten going to the gym and having a steroid regime. But it's not just the looks, of course. This little guy is really fast. This is a turbocharged 1.6 liter inline 4 which delivers 218 horsepower and 281 newton meters of torque, which means it sits closer to a Golf TTI, for example. And boy, the handling! It's like the car is just reading your mind and responding to whatever you're turning the steering wheel, it just responds like that! It, to put it simply, it responds quickly, but it's so much fun to drive! Now, zero to 100 times and, you know, top speed where top speed times are just irrelevant for the average person, but this is, a con this is an average consumer car, this is a performance car for the enthusiasts, so I need to tell them. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour is 6.3 seconds and top speed is 241 kilometers per hour, so yeah, it gives you a punch. Speaking of punch, man, this mid-range acceleration boost is so good! Because 281 newton meters of torque, it just hits like it just instantly shoots. Now to say this car is without its flaws would be a blatant lie. The ride is just super firm, like, which is you know concerning in rough roads like India, which I am here. And the fuel economy is there, but 11 on the city and 15 on the highway. But honestly, who cares? This is a car where you're not, where you're not expecting those things. You're expecting power, punch, everything, handling. You're not thinking about fuel economy or efficiency or yada yada. Now inside this car, things get a bit more for the driver. There's not a lot of creature comforts, of course, but that's not really the point. The seats are bolstered to keep you in place, and the steering wheel is chunky, but all these things are irrelevant because I am in a virtual world and I am sitting in my dining chair in real life when I drive this car. Anyways, so who is this car for? Well, it's the type of person who values performance over everything else. Because who really, who else is going to buy this? And thus, the John Cooper Works GP is a definitely a worth a look. If you're that kind of person, one more question you'd be asking is why am I reviewing this car now? Well, the car market has uh, made cars expensive and cool cars even more so. And this is relatively attainable for what it is, an enthusiast's running shoe. This has the potential to be rare one day. And if it does get attention, it's worth. It's a worthy investment, I gotta say. Anywho, it's not the most practical car in the world. But who cares? It's not supposed to be. What it is, it's a great driver's car and a hot hatchback powerhouse is a perfect send-off to the Mini Cooper and the generation it represents. A pocket rocket!